Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, someone's been breaking into kids' lockers at Hurston School and stealing things. Like Tina's sheepskin jacket and a camera, tape player, and gold bracelet. The team figured out that the stolen stuff is at a garage owned by Big Ralph, and that Big Ralph buys the stolen stuff from the thief and sells it to other people. And while Tina and Hector were videotaping what's going on at Big Ralph's garage, they saw someone sell a gold bracelet to Big Ralph. And Ghost Rider found an important clue. Love You Forever was written on Jason's bracelet. Then Big Ralph gets caught by the police, but the thief gets away before they can see who it was. So far, the team has three suspects. Big Ralph, because he's been buying the stolen stuff and selling it. Spencer, one of the basketball players on the Dragons who goes to Hurston. He sent Delilah to Big Ralph to buy back her stolen tape player by saying, Spencer sent me. And he sold something to Big Ralph himself. And there's Arnie, who goes to Hurston and has a camera with a Daisy sticker on it, just like the one that was stolen. Meanwhile, Alex is a new player on the Dragons, the best three-man team in the neighborhood. Now he hangs out a lot with his teammates, Kevin and Spencer. Kevin is one of the best basketball players around, and Alex thinks he's really cool. Then Alex finds out something about Kevin. Kevin uses drugs, and he asks Alex to smoke pot with him, but Alex turns him down. But Kevin offers him a joint again later on. Alex panics when he hears his mother come, and he makes Kevin leave. Gabby finds the joint and gets really worried that Alex may be doing drugs. With Ghost Rider's help, she writes a letter to Alex telling him how she feels. Then, Alex goes to Kevin's house to work on a school project. But there's a party going on instead. And this time, he really wants Alex to smoke pot. You're not going to punk out again on me, are you? Will Alex smoke pot? And will the team find out who the thief is? Get your pencil and case book out and start piecing the puzzle, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Come on. Be a man. Light up. You don't want Mary Jo to think you're a wimp, do you? Hi, Alex. Hi, Mary Jo. What's going on? Um, he's getting ready to smoke his first joint. Right, Alex? Right, Alex? Dear Alex, I'm worried about you. Are you using drugs? If you are, please stop. Stella, our son is becoming a man right before our eyes. Just because someone else is doing drugs doesn't mean you have to copy off him. up to you, Alex. I don't want my brother to be a drug user. Your father and I care, and we love you very much. I love you. Your sister, Gabby. Right, Alex? It's just not me, man. I can't do it. Uh, uh, oh, so what do you think? You're better than me and my friends? I'm not saying I'm better than you. So what are you saying? I'm saying drugs can hurt you. And I don't want to do them. Uh, grow up, Alex. Everybody gets high. I don't. My friends don't. Look, I gotta go. Alex! Don't forget about the game tomorrow. I've been around. I grew up on the streets. I've seen drugs destroy families, friends, neighborhoods. I'm not too old to know what kids go through. I hang out in the hood, travel from school to school, do anything I can do to keep drugs off my kids. Well, we definitely appreciate you taking the time to help us with our project, Mr. Oliver. Glad to do it. What's the best weapon we can use to fight drugs? Uh, guns? Mm, nope. You know? The police. Mm -mm. The best weapon is knowledge. Knowledge about how drugs destroy your body and your brain. Knowledge about yourself. What matters to you and how you can take care of yourself. Knowledge about how to get help when you need it. I use knowledge to kick drugs in the butt. But what about the kids who are using drugs? Yeah. How do you get to them? I got a big, big mouth. And I use it to let people know I'm here to help. Sometimes when people are worried about someone taking drugs, they let me know what's up. They rat on their friends? No. They come to me to help their friends. 
It's not my job to punish people. I'm into figuring out ways to help the person using drugs. Sometimes a kid will come to me when he realizes he or she has a problem. What do you do then? We sit and talk about the reasons they do drugs and how it's messing up their lives. Does that help? It does. See, my job is to show kids who do drugs that there is still hope. You can change. You can stop. It doesn't mean your life is over. If you are willing to hear the truth, you can kick drugs in the butt. Ah, you got it, partner. <laughs> I've got a whole briefcase full of knowledge, information about what drugs can do to you and places to go to get help, and books you can check out of the library if you want more. Hey, can we get some of that? Help yourself. I found this when I was getting ready to put your pants in the washing machine. Tell me, Alejandro. Is that garbage yours? No. Then whose is it? It belongs to a friend of mine. Ah. So that's why you want your own room so bad, so you and your friend can sit around and smoke marijuana. I don't smoke marijuana. Alex, you must tell us the truth. A friend of mine tried to get me to smoke a joint with him. But I turned him down. I just couldn't do it. What stopped you? I... I don't want to copy of people who do things that could hurt them or make them sick. Well, that's a fine thing that you did, Alejandro, but it doesn't explain how that trash got into our home. I didn't bring it in. My friend dropped it yesterday. Who is this friend? You've never met him, but he's all right. He can't be all right if he uses drugs. It's dangerous, it's illegal. What kind of a friend would ask you to do this? Why won't you tell us who he is? Maybe I can talk to his parents, try to help him. No way. I don't want you to get him in trouble. He's already in trouble. He uses drugs. I forbid you to be his friend. I'm old enough to choose my own friends. Just because he does drugs doesn't mean I will. And I already told you I turned him down. And what about the next time? And the time after that? Look, he's going to keep trying to convince you to do things that you know are wrong. I'm not a baby. Nobody can convince me to do anything I don't want to do. I agree with your father. Until you stop being friends with this boy, you're grounded. You to come straight home after school from now on. And when you're not working in the store, you'll be here in your room. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand that I'm a slave with no freedom or choices. Yes. Alejandro, you're not a slave. You're just not free to make the wrong choices. <laughs> Alex? What? What's so great about your new friend? What makes him better than the team? Yesterday, Big Ralph was arrested. He's not a suspect anymore because he bought Jesus bracelet from the thief. What about the thief? Did you see who he was? No, all we could see was his arm. Mm. Too bad. You might have gotten something on video. We have to check it out. Great. Did you get your coat back? No, nope, not yet. The police have to use it as evidence against Big Ralph. I should get it back in a few weeks. Well, at least you didn't have to buy it back. Yeah. Hey, Arnie, can I talk to you for a second? Man, what's his problem? I don't know. He's been acting like that ever since I asked him about Big Ralph. I'll look for him later and see what I can find out. Hi, Tina. Mom. Have you guys seen Kevin? I'm not his keeper. It's your problem. What's my problem? Man, it's what's your problem? You're the one who's been. Did you see that? Yeah, what's up with Alex? I don't know, but lately he's been acting like a real jerk. I wonder if he even wants to be on the team anymore. All he does is hang out with Kevin. And Spencer is a major suspect. Man, if we win this game, we'll go to the citywide playoffs. I know, but I'm grounded. I have to go straight home after school. What? You can't miss this game, Alex. I'm in a lot of trouble already. And where's Kevin? He'll show up. Look, don't let us down, Alex. Think about it, man. Arnie, what's up? Nothing. What do you want? 
I want to find out what you know about Big Ralph. I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, I guess you're right, but now that Big Ralph is under arrest, I'm sure the police can get the answers from him. My mother told me Big Ralph was a fence. Your mother? Yeah, she went out with him a couple of times. You mean like a date? Uh-huh. She stopped seeing him when she found out he sold stolen stuff. So why are you hanging around him? I wanted a camera of my own. I figured I could buy a stolen one cheaper than a new one, so I went to Big Ralph. Behind your mother's back? Yeah. If she finds out, I'll be grounded for life. You know you're going to have to give that camera back to Maria. Yeah, I know. Not only am I out of money, I don't have a camera either. I don't know a big Ralph. Yes, you do. We saw you with him. So, what's wrong with that? He's been selling things that were stolen from our school. That's what's wrong with it. Look, I've got a game to play. We got you. I don't want to get involved. Spencer, wait! What's up? I just tried to question Spencer, but I didn't get anywhere. Well, then we need to call a rally and take a look at that videotape of Big Ralph getting busted. Maybe Ghost Rider can help us figure out who was selling Jason's gold bracelet to Big Ralph. Hi, Gabby. Alex here? No. But he better get home soon. He's grounded. Por qué? I think you better ask Alex. Oh. What's supposed to help me with my homework? Look. Magazine articles over here and brochures over here. I can't believe we lost the game because Kevin didn't show up. Man, I can forget about the championship now. Can't what? Uh, nothing. Let's go find out how Kevin can let's down like this. This is a shot where we can see a patch or something on his jacket. But I can't make out the words. Maybe Ghost Rider can go into the screen and read what's on the jacket. Team. Spencer's a dragon, and he's our number one suspect. It must be him. Until we can definitely prove that he's the one, all of the dragons are suspects. Alex, too? Well, the guy in the video is wearing a dragon's jacket. Alex doesn't have a dragon's jacket yet. So he can't be a suspect. Right. But Kevin, Victor, and Spencer are. Uh, Victor quit the team. But he still has a dragon's jacket. I don't think that Victor's guilty, but we have to put him on the list. Done. Kevin and Victor are down as suspects. What about Arnie? Is he still a suspect? No, he doesn't have a dragon's jacket, and he was buying stolen property, not selling it. I didn't feel good, okay? Get over it. You made us forfeit the game. I went against my parents who came to the game even though I was grounded. Grounded? Your parents still treat you like a little kid. Stand up to them. Grow up. I used to think you were the coolest guy in the world. I was so excited when you asked me to work on our urban studies project. But I'm probably going to fail because we didn't get any work done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame me for everything. I'm not blaming you for anything. Kevin, you have a drug problem. Says you. Says me, too. Who asked you, Spencer? If you keep smoking pot, pretty soon you're going to start using other drugs. Grow up, Alex. Don't you think I am already? I can't be your friend if you keep using drugs. I'm quitting the team. You're just mad because you looked like a dork last night in front of Mary Jo. How can you knock smoking pot when you've never had the guts to try it? 
because I can see what it's doing to you. Who needs you guys? I can't go home. My parents are going to kill me. What should I do? Well, uh, I don't know. Look, I got to go. So. Yeah, okay. I'm in trouble. Spencer. We have to find out what he was selling to Big Ralph. And I'll talk to Victor. Find out what he was doing the day Big Ralph got busted. It could be him on that videotape trying to sell Jason's gold bracelet. Or Kevin. I can't imagine Kevin breaking into lockers. But he has a dragon's jacket, so he's a suspect. We should also find out if he knows Big Ralph. Maybe we can ask Alex to question him. I don't think Alex wants to be on our team anymore. What are you talking about? He never said anything about quitting the Ghost Rider team. He doesn't come to rallies anymore. And he dissed me and Jamal in school today. But he's still our friend, right? I guess so, but he spends all his time with his new friends. And they're all suspects. I don't think we should talk to Alex about this case at all. That is not fair. We can still trust Alex. But Gabby... Who is it? Alex. Can I come in? I need to talk to you guys. Judge! They will mess up your head. Judge! You might end up dead. Yeah, what do you think? I think you're crazy. There's no way we're going to make a rock video. Why not? Lenny made one, and you were in it. I know, but for that, you need a director. Cameras. Music. Money. Yeah, you're right. What about a book? Like the ones I got from the library. A book? Yeah, about drugs. Written by kids for kids. Writing a book takes a long time, and our project's due next week. Man, what a dumb idea. Hey, I mean, at least I'm trying to think of ideas. All you do is pump iron and say no to everything. Hey, I'm trying to think of ideas, too. But why don't you say them out loud? How can I when you're bouncing around my room like a lunatic? Maybe I'll just go home and bounce by myself. Well, maybe you should. Kevin smokes so much pot. Seems like he doesn't want to do anything else. He even says he's doing other drugs, too. Oh, he has a serious problem. I know. So I quit the dragons. Really? We didn't know you were going through so much. That was my fault. You guys are my best friends. I shouldn't have shut you out like that. I'm sorry. That's all right, Alex. Yeah, we understand. What about Mama and Papa? What did they say when you got home? I, uh, I didn't go home yet. What? I can't. I gotta yell at me as soon as I get home. Alex, the longer you stay away, the matter they'll get. Yeah, well, what can I do about it now? Look, you're gonna have to face them sooner or later. Why don't you just go downstairs and apologize? If I go home now, they're just gonna yell at me and send me to my room like I'm a little kid. I never get a chance to say what I feel. Then I'll get mad. Maybe you should do what I did when I thought you wouldn't listen to me. A letter? Yeah, that way you can say everything you want to say without being interrupted. All right, but I hope they're not too angry to read it. Maybe you should start out telling them you're sorry. They do have a right to be angry. I mean, you were grounded and didn't go home. I hope this works and things get back to normal. How's this? Mis queridos padres, I knew you were angry because I didn't come home when I was supposed to. I'm sorry. That's good, Alex. What about all the other stuff that's been going on? 
I thought you were growing up. I guess I was wrong. A grown-up does not forget about his job. Things that I care about, like basketball, aren't important because the stupid store comes first. I was wrong for not doing my work and saying mean things about the bodega. Good. Go give it to them. It's not finished yet. Yeah. He gotta say something about the marijuana. And Kevin. I know. Didn't you say you were grounded because your parents wanted you to stop hanging around a guy who uses drugs? Uh-huh. I thought Kevin was so cool. I wanted to be just like him. Yeah, but now you stopped hanging out with him on your own. I don't know if I were right. Maybe they wouldn't be so angry if you tell them that. It's not going to be easy. You can do it, Alex. Do what you tell to me. Write what you really feel. How come you get to take all the stuff? I'm the one who took all the books out of the library. Well, Mr. Oliver gave the path list to both of us. Take all you want. I don't care. Take it all. You know, I thought working with you would be really great. You always seemed like such a cool guy. You thought I was cool? Yeah. The way you always do stuff with your friends and try to help people out. I thought you were the coolest guy in school. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Hey, well, working with you is no picnic either. Hey, at least I'm trying. I mean, just because you don't like the person you're working with doesn't mean that you can't do good work together. You're right. I guess I did have an attitude about working with you. I thought I'd be working with Alex. I guess I felt bad when he chose another partner. I'm sorry. You mean it? Yeah, I mean it. You want to pick up where we left off? No. I think we should start all over again and work together as friends. Me too. Thanks, you guys. I could have done this later without your help. I guess I better go give it to my parents now. Alex, before you go, we have something to tell you. What is it? It's about the case. We have three suspects. Who? You are not gonna like this. Kevin, Victor, and Spencer. The dragons. What? We videotaped someone trying to sell Jason's gold bracelet to Big Ralph. We couldn't make out who it was. He was wearing a dragon's jacket. Oh, no. Yep, Spencer's our main suspect, but since Kevin and Victor have dragon's jackets, they're suspects, too. Did you notice them doing anything suspicious? No. I can't think of anything, but if I do, I'll let you know. Thanks. When we get back to school, we'll question them and see what we can find out. Okay, let's go, Alex. Most of all, apologize for letting Kevin bring drugs into our home. You were right when you said hanging out with a drug user would lead to trouble. My friendship with Kevin is over unless he stops using drugs. I hope you will forgive me. I want all the arguing to stop so we can be a happy family again. Con amor, Alejandro. This is a wonderful letter, Alex. Admitting your mistakes is a real sign of maturity. I'm glad you realized you had to stop hanging out with this boy, Kevin. I just wish you had talked to us sooner. I thought I could handle it myself. I wanted to be my own man. No, even I can't handle all of my problems on my own. A real man is wise enough to admit when he needs help sometimes. And a real woman too, Gabriela. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. This letter you wrote me. I would make a really important decision. Thanks, Gab. You're welcome. Yeah, let me see that. I'm so proud of both of you. Can I talk to you? Sure. I just wanted to apologize. Last week I was acting like a... Jerk? Yeah, I guess I deserve that. You sure do. Stuff has been going down. I know, man. It's okay. I spoke to Lenny and Tino on Saturday. They told me what happened. 
Too bad about Kevin. Yeah, I guess hanging out with him wasn't as cool as I thought. So what about your urban studies project? Uh, Mr. Johnson's gonna fail me for sure. Jeffrey and I can always use your help if you want to team up with us. Thanks. I'll talk to Mr. Johnson. See if he'll let me join up with you guys. You think that Kevin's gonna show up today? Who knows? I'm supposed to question him about the case. See if he knows Big Ralph. But I haven't seen him around. He's been missing a lot of school lately. Yeah, I know. If he doesn't show up today, do you think you might be able to go over to his house and question him? It's really important. I guess so. I'm not hanging out with him anymore. I don't know if he'll talk to me, but I'll try. Thanks, man. Yo, welcome back to the team. this TV. That's all I got. Get off of me. I told you I don't have any more money. 